Okay, good morning everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to discuss the photosynthesis. So that will be our simple activity, scramble words. Okay, so before we discuss the photosynthesis itself, uh, let's differentiate autotrophs and heterotrophs. So these two organisms uh, are different in regards to the use of energy on how they create their energy. First is the autotrophs. Autotrophs are organisms that obtain energy from its environment using the uh, photosynthesis or the chemosynthesis. Commonly, autotrophs are known as producer, while heterotrophs organism uh, obtain their energy using or by consuming other organism, and they are known as consumers. So the process of photosynthesis is utilizing sunlight with the use of water and carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is an input coming from animals okay, that will go through the stomata of the plants, and then the water will be absorbed by the roots of the plants. And sunlight will be captured by the leaves of the plant, while the glucose is the product of the photosynthesis will be created in the leaves. And then oxygen as the byproduct will release in the stomata of the plant. So this is the overview of the photosynthesis. At the bottom side of our PowerPoint, you can see the chemical formula for the photosynthesis. So it will all start with six carbon dioxide or C6H2 and six molecule of H2O or six H2O. And then it will be utilized by the use of heat from the sunlight. So the product will be C6H12O6 or one molecule of glucose. <coughs> and uh, the six, at the same time, it also produces six molecules of oxygen. So as you can see here on our illustration, water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight will be used or utilized in the uh, plants or the leaves of the plants. So the sunlight will be captured by the chlorophyll, uh, carbon dioxide, and water. Uh, will take up or plants will, will take it okay and then produces carbohydrates so carbohydrates is termed as the glucose or the food product ng photosynthesis so photosynthesis autotrophic processes uh, those are plant and plant-like organism that make their own energy and it is in the form of glucose so when we say plant and plant-like organism, those are any organism that have a cap capability to synthesize uh, sun. So they are called photosynthetic organism. Okay. So this is the site where the sunlight has been captured and where the glucose is created in the chloroplast. So for us to be familiarized, first let's take a look with the different organs or organelles of the chloroplast. We have the lamella, stroma, granum, and thylakoids. So here are the four parts of chloroplast. The first one is lamella. Lamella acts like a skeleton of the chloroplast. So it maintains the distance from different thylakoids. So the color green, color green uh, horizontal lines here on our uh, PowerPoint is the lamella. Next one is stroma. Stroma is it. it so uh, this stroma is the location where the Calvin cycle occurs. So dito po create yung ating, uh, yung glucose ng mga halaman. And next one is granum. So granum is known as the stack of thylakoid. And the plural for that is grana. While the site of the capturing of sunlight is the 
thylakoid itself. Okay? So, sa thylakoid, dito po nangyayari yung photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. That is the light harvesting organ ng ating chloroplast. So, this is uh, also an illustration of the summary of the photosynthesis. So, the first step, chloroplast will be captured here on our... Uh, the chloroplast will capture the sunlight in the form of photons. Two, uh, water will enter the leaves because leaves is the site where the photosynthesis occur. Three, carbon dioxide will enter the leaves through stomata. Okay, Stomata and stroma is different because stroma is part of our chlorophyll and then stomata is part of the leaves wherein uh, it manages the water amounts of the leaves or the plants at the same time it is where the carbon dioxide and oxygen enter enter okay and number four using all the input such as photons water h2o and carbon dioxide uh, the leaves itself or the plant itself will create its energy so the energy is in the form of glucose, C6H12O6, and then it will leave the leaves and then it will travel throughout the different parts of the plant, such as stem, uh, stem and roots. Okay, so this is the location or of the processes of the photosynthesis. Okay, so first we have the light reaction. Uh, it it occurs in the thylakoids. As you can see, this is the stack of thylakoids known as grana or granum. Next is the dark reaction or also known as the Calvin cycle. There are other names for Calvin cycle, which is the citric acid cycle. Okay, So uh, Calvin cycle appear in stroma. Again, Light reaction or light uh, dependent occurs in thylakoid and dark reaction appears in stroma. As you can see, light reaction produces ATP and NADPH and then those two products will be used in Calvin cycle. Here in Calvin cycle, the main product is sugar and then it produces uh, or it brings back or the ADP and NADPH reaction. Okay, so for us to understand more the difference between light and dark reaction, it, this is the diagram. So light reaction or light dependent reaction is a process of converting sunlight into chemical energy. And our product is the ATP and NADPH. The location is in the thylakoid or all or also known as granum. What are the inputs? We need light and water. The photon or the H2O. What is the purpose, purpose of the light reaction? So it recharges the adenosine diphosphate and and ADP plus for the dark reaction from uh, from the use of light in the H2O. The ADP and NADP plus, its product is ATP and NADPH. At the same time, uh, light reaction produces oxygen as a byproduct. So that is the light reaction or light dependent it will not happen if there will be no uh there will be no sunlight because sunlight is the key factor or uh ingredient for the light reaction to occur but the process in plants to make the food itself doesn't need sunlight and it is where the dark reaction or calvin cycle will occur Uh, to use a chem, uh, it is the use of chemical energy from light reaction to make that 
in stroma or the space fluid outside the thylakoid. What are the output that needed by the dark reaction? So any product that has been produced in light rack. Okay, so first, what are the e out input of dark reaction? We have carbon dioxide, CO2, ATP, and NADPH. So what is the purpose of our dark reaction? It creates glucose with the use of ATP and NADPH. product for this process is the glucose or the C6H12O6. Uh, on our last topic, we, al we already discussed how chlorophyll captures sunlight, right? So we have photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Photosystem 1 uh, only captures wavelength uh, of P700 while photosystem 2 uh, captures photons less than 680 wavelengths. So this photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 will energize electron for them to recharge the ATP and NADPH. And it happens in the membrane of our thylakoids. Okay? So that is the purpose of photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 in our pot photosystem. Okay, so that is uh, that is the step by step process. Photosystem to capture sunlight, but we already discussed that on last topic. Okay, so this is the illustration. Okay, if you still remember, um, H two O will donate electron. Okay, so once it donate electron in photosystem two. The H2O will be broken down in O2 and H+. So O2 will be the byproduct of our light reaction. And then H+, will be later on, will be used to uh, generate the ATP. So as we can see, the photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 are... The electron will be... A uh, donated by H2O. So once the photosystem to capture or capture sunlight, this electron here will be excited and then will be transported by several protein transport systems such as plastiquinone, cytochrome, and lastocyanin. So these three protein <clears throat> protein transport system will uh, transport the excited electron to photosystem 1. So this photosystem 1 uh, will also capture the sunlight or photon coming from the sun. But at this point, uh, from this excited electron, it will become unexcited again, okay? Uh, because it travels transport protein. But since photosystem 1 also captures sunlight or photon simultaneously, it will be again, uh, it will be again uh, photo excited and then it will be traveled from pyridoxine and pyridoxine NADP reductase. So this process is for, uh, for the plant or for the thylakoid to create or to regenerate the NADPH. Okay, so this NADPH is one of the product of our light reaction. And for the site of ATP synthase, the hydrogen or H plus that uh, came from the breaking down or will be donated in the ATP synthase for, uh, for it to generate the ADP into ATP. Okay, so that is our photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 on how they capture sunlight and photo excites the electron to generate the NADPH and ATP. So that is the light reaction. Okay, so now let's proceed to 
Calvin cycle. So Calvin cycle, uh, this is uh, a process within the photosynthesis that doesn't need sunlight. Okay. Uh, because the product or the output it needed is the product of light reaction, which are the ATP and NADPH, okay? So the Calvin cycle makes sugar from the atoms in carbon dioxide plus the hydrogen ions and electron carried by NADPH. So this is the carbon dioxide. gases came from some animals okay and other factors yung water and light dito lang gagamitin sa light reaction and ang kanilang product uh byproduct is oxygen and then the main output is atp and nadph sa calvin cycle naman or yung dark reaction natin dito naman po uh may purpose yung ating carbon dioxide to create the sugar. So the Calvin cycle uses the ATP that, uh, that was created in the light reaction to make the uh, sugar or C6H12O6. Okay, so since it is cycle or Calvin carbon dioxide that has been uh, captured or, or entered in the stomach, three uh, phases. Phase one is carbon fixation. Phase two is reduction. Phase three is regeneration of carbon dioxide acceptor or what we call RUBP. Okay, so this cycle will keep on continuing its process for it to create one molecule of glucose. So one run of our Calvin cycle, one molecule of glucose, or what we call in chemical formula is G3P. So first, our input. Okay. So the input for Calvin cycle is carbon dioxide. Okay. The uh, carbon dioxide... Uh, will attach uh, there will be some coenzyme that will attach to our carbon dioxide to become rubisco and then it will become a uh, three phosphoglycerate okay so three phosphoglycerate is a molecule that will add phosphate okay so this three phosphoglycerate will add another phosphate therefore this atp will donate and it will become ADP again, okay? So this is the donation of ATP. And then once it donates the ATP, the 3 phosphoglycerate will become 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. And then after that, this NADPH will again donate another hydrogen ions. So this hydrogen ions will... will create glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate or 3GP. So in the second phase we're, we're in, it is what we call reduction. Okay. So this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is our glucose. But since it is a cycle, one product must go on to keep on the cycle continuing. Therefore, the 3GP will continue for phase 3, which is the regeneration of carbon dioxide and then this 3gp again uh, 3 atp molecule will donate phosphate for it to become uh, ribulose biphosphate and then the process will continue until there is a source of carbon dioxide for our calvin cycle okay so these are the step by step uh step by step uh, process of our Calvin or dark reaction. So, step one is the fixation of carbon dioxide. Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ang input natin is carbon dioxide molecule that maybe came from animals. 
because we in we exhale carbon dioxide and we inhale the byproduct of plants which is the oxygen okay so that will be uh carbo carboxylase that's that is the enzyme that will be attached on our carbon dioxide for for it to become rubisco okay so the rubisco will uh, will become three phosphoglycerate and then continue the process to proceed in step two or, or yung tinatawag natin na reduction okay so that is a several uh, chemical reaction happening in here so from uh, three phosphoglycerate it will become one three by by phosphoglycerate and then it uh, at the end of the phase two it will become glyceraldehyde because of the donation of atp and nadph okay so that is the purpose of atp and nadph here on our calvin cycle they donate phosphorus and hydrogen ion for the calvin cycle produces a glucose wherein that is the organic uh, compound for the food or source of energy of our plants and then the last one so like what i've said earlier uh, the process or the cycle must go on so there are products that must remain on the cycle and that is the uh, 